I'm John Harbin with the Times News, and this is your News of the Week, ending Friday, April 1st. The Henderson County Sheriff's Office arrested Wesley Aaron Williams, 18, Wednesday, on one count of statutory rape, two counts of sexual battery, and on one count of a probation violation. The suspect is said to have showed nude photographs to minors, and a complaint was filed with the Sheriff's Office, according to a press release. The Henderson County Sheriff's Office Special Victims Unit also discovered Williams sexually assaulted two juveniles. Williams of 38 Hope Opal Lane in Fletcher was placed in the Henderson County Jail under a $35,000 secured bond. A Henderson County Sheriff's deputy suspended from duty earlier this month following a domestic incident was terminated from the Sheriff's Office this week. On March 18th, Sheriff's deputies responded to a domestic dispute between Deputy Mark Anthony Russell and his spouse at the couple's home in Etowah. Russell has been charged with misdemeanor violation of a restraining order and was terminated from the Sheriff's Office on March 24th. Faced with the possibility of closing due to declining donations and grant money, the Health Adventure is reorganizing with the support from Park Ridge Health. Financial support from Park Ridge Health will allow the Children's Hands-On Health and Science Museum, which is filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, to remain in the Pack Place Education Arts and Science Center in Asheville and continue serving its residents. Park Ridge's support will keep the doors open and people employed, but the hospital will not be associated with the Chapter 11 bankruptcy and is not taking on any of the organization's debt. Volunteers from the Council on Aging's thrift store in Etowah wore hats decorated with empty cups and plates, and clients with the day support programs from the Reach for Independence program handed out buttons during a rally Tuesday for the Meals on Wheels program. The rally wrapped up a month-long awareness celebration called March for Meals, which raised $2,289 for Meals on Wheels run by Council on Aging in Henderson County. While Hendersonville may be better known for its barefooting downtown art display, the town is also earning a reputation as a place for casting and reeling. Hendersonville has been nominated as the best place to fish in the U.S. as part of the World Fishing Network's Ultimate Fishing Town Contest presented by Eagle Claw. Hendersonville is one of five towns in North Carolina to be nominated so far. For Fred Block, growing his Bottle Tree Beer Company has become personal. Block, a resident of Campobello, South Carolina, whose business is based in downtown Tryon, began homebrewing in Marietta, Georgia, where he once lived with the hopes of someday taking his hobby commercial. Now, several years later, Block's dream has come full circle. His Bottle Tree Blonde, a Belgian-style golden ale, is scheduled to hit restaurants, bars, and retail outlets throughout the state of Georgia by next week, as well as in Chattanooga, Tennessee. 7th Avenue's buildings have a story to tell, and area leaders want to make sure they're heard. Six plaques have been placed on buildings to describe their uses and the owners over the years, thanks to the Hendersonville Historic Preservation Commission's project to mount plaques on commercial buildings in the 7th Avenue Historic District. The plaque program is a continuation of the Main Street program through which 35 historic plaques have been placed downtown. For more on these stories and other stories, be sure to check us out at BlueRidgeNow.com Follow us on Facebook and check our Twitter.